Welcome to this interactive squad guide. In this video I'm going to highlight two very important skills that I value more than a top tier aim. If you want to become a really good squad player, you must have these skills. The first skill is trigger discipline. Before we start I will explain the interactive part of this video. I'm going to show you some gameplay footage. And sometimes the video will freeze and you have 5 seconds to choose one of the two alternatives shown on the screen. This can be used to evaluate yourself or just as a fun game. And I'm challenging you to write your answers in the comments. We pick up this gameplay just after my team took back control of Jevenivka. And the game is very even between the teams. The enemies have a hap on the fob mark and it's important that we take that down. So that's where I'm going. So I decided to kill that guy, and then I killed the other guy, and after I reloaded, I killed this guy. So this guy hit me a few times, but luckily I'm a medic, so I hide in the bushes to heal and wait for a squad mate that is on his way to come and help me. But as soon as my backup arrives, he takes fire. I want to try to save him, so I throw a grenade towards the sound of the enemy, and I immediately regret it. My mate is already dead, and unless the enemies are completely stupid, they now know that I'm here. So they throw a grenade right back at me, and I almost die. But I'm a medic, so I can quickly stop the bleeding. I just need to hurry up before they push me and kill me. Sorry, can you repeat? I think there's an enemy in your little compound. Yeah, I just killed one. Okay, I don't know when the devil decided to possess you. It is very tempting to kill him, but that's not why I'm here. My team needs to take down that enemy spawn, and I'm one of the few players in a position to get there. I'm not going to risk dying over an easy kill. I have a more important mission. And this is what the second skill is about, but more about that later. So I pick him up, I heal him, and we keep going towards the enemy spawn. Your mom just keep some distance between us, so if they see one of us, they don't see the other. Nothing here, yeah, I don't see anything. Enemy spotted. Well, this guy don't know how lucky he is. I'm not in the mood for killing. And if I did kill him, he would probably just respawn on the hab close by. And he could also warn his team that enemies are close to the fob, and we might have a lot more enemies to deal with. Yeah, I was trying to get the guys to dig it up, they wouldn't do it. Yeah, not rushing. He Fuck, he saw me. That was a lie. I actually thought he was AFK, but I could not risk him coming back and killing us. Here. It's clear inside. Come inside. Get a for creation mark on us, please. I dig it down a little bit more, and then stay with it. Ooh, shit. If I die now, I would get so mad. Just hide, just hide. We have MG to our southwest. So as my friend is safe in the hab getting lit up by the MG, I'm moving around to find him. Oh, he's dead. When the MG was dead, I went back to revive my friend that had dug down the hab to sticks, so he had no cover from the MG. But it worked out as a good bait. 
that is actually shit. So bad. So bad. Is yeah. one going around Bravo? I'm giving up. Yeah. Don't shoot him yet. It's gonna go no, and dig. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Just wait for until he's easy shot. Like now. Sorry, I had to give up. And, uh, I wasn't gonna sit there and have my ears blown out by the artillery. With all my stars. So we finally got to the enemy radio and we managed to take it down. And when we took it down, the game was over. So it took us almost 7 minutes from the first kill to reach and deactivate the enemy spawn. If I would have died on the way because I wanted some easy kills, those 7 minutes could have easily increased to 15. Or I might not have made it at all. But I still regret throwing that nade, it was a bad move that almost got me killed. I hope this video has shown you why it's so important to have good trigger discipline and I look forward to reading your results in the comments. Now to the second skill which is closely connected to trigger discipline, the ability to understand the bigger picture from an individual, a squad and a team perspective. This skill will play a big part in understanding when to shoot and when not to. The second part of this video is linked in the description. Thank you for watching and as always, help me reach more new players by liking the video and sharing it.